SoFi Technology stock price is absolutely soaring in 2024, trading close to $16 per share. When it started the year, trading around $10 per share. Of course, it took a little dip before it started rising again. But overall, I'm pleased with this performance, especially because I've had SoFi stock rated as a buy all year long in 2024. But where will SoFi stock price be in 2025? Will it deliver similar performance in 2025? Or will it reverse those gains? Well, I'm going to try to answer that question in this video. Of course, nobody knows what's going to happen in the future, but I'll use all the estimates and forecasts and numbers at my disposal and my experience to make this stock price prediction for SoFi in 2025. I will share with you precisely where I'm getting all of the numbers and estimates to make the prediction so that you can see for yourself whether I'm being too optimistic or pessimistic or if my prediction is right on point. So without further ado, let's take a look. Hey everyone, I want to take a moment to thank the sponsor of this video. Moomoo is a trading platform where you can buy and sell stocks and other investments. I use the platform for investing myself. If you join using the link in my description, you can get up to 15 free stocks. All right, so one of the numbers I'm going to need is SoFi's current share price, which as I shared with you in the beginning of the video, is increasing significantly. It's now up to close to $16 per share as of this recording. I also need SoFi's forward price to earnings ratio, which as of this recording stands at 65. Additionally, I need the gap earnings per share forecast for SoFi stock, which according to Wall Street analysts that are following SoFi stock, they think the company is going to deliver 47 cents in EPS gap in 2026. This is their estimate for what they think the company will deliver in earnings per share in calendar year 2026. Of course, even the Wall Street analysts that are following SoFi stock don't know for sure what the earnings per share will be. But these Wall Street analysts have close communications with SoFi's management team, and they use that information to make their stock price forecasts and they also make their earnings per share forecast now personally i don't follow the wall street analyst stock price forecast as much as i follow their earnings per share and revenue and cash flow forecasts i like for them to make these forecasts for the earnings per share and cash flow and the fundamental metrics and then i like to incorporate that and make my own stock price predictions for these stocks because oftentimes Wall Street analysts have significant conflicts of interest. If they downgrade a stock, for instance, they might lose access to communicating with the management team, right? If you have a close relationship with the CEO and the CFO of the company, you don't want to jeopardize that by rating the stock as a sell, even if you believe the stock should be rated as a sell. So you sugarcoat your bad ratings in order to inflate these uh valuations to make them look better than they should be in some cases, right? I'm not saying that happens all the time, but it's happened often enough where I don't take their predictions. Uh, I don't take their stock ratings on themselves on the surface, but I do experience that their earnings per share forecast and their revenue growth numbers, those tend to be a lot more reasonable because those don't require any kind of judgment whether or not it's a buy hold or a sell they're just giving you the number of earnings per share estimate for certain years looking ahead all right so now that we've collected all of the estimates that we need to make the stock price prediction i can go ahead and jump into my model here earnings per share as we noticed forecasted were 47 cents for fiscal year 2026 for SoFi. And if we apply the 65 forward price to earnings ratio, we would get a stock price of $30 per share by the end of next year for SoFi stock. Now that would be roughly doubling from where the stock price was trading at today, which was around $15 per share. However, I feel that the forward price to earnings ratio of 65 is elevated. I don't think it's going to remain that high for SoFi. I think the forward price to earnings ratio will decrease. Now, remember, if I share with you the forward price to earnings ratio, you'll see that 65 is the highest this stock has traded for according to this metric 
going all the way back to late 2023, where it was trading at closer to 80. But you notice the valuation took a big drop when it reached these elevated levels. A forward price to earnings of 65, I feel is rich for SoFi based on the industries it operates, right? Roughly half of the business comes from lending. The other half of the business is from technology and services. And the technology and services side of the business is growing to become a larger percentage of the business overall. That's good news. Still, this valuation is a premium valuation for companies in this category. So I feel there's going to be a slowdown, a drop, a decrease in this forward price to earnings ratio. So if it falls all the way to 50, then that means the stock price could rise, but to a more modest degree, to $23.50. If the forward PE falls to 40, the stock price could rise to $19 per share. If the forward PE falls all the way to 35, still the stock price, I have it going up next year to $16.45. So in all of these scenarios I've forecasted, I see the stock price going higher next year. Now, that doesn't mean there isn't a chance it will go lower. There's always a chance that the stock price could fall further. But in all of these scenarios, the scenarios that I see are most likely, I see the probability of an increase next year for SoFi stock. To be more specific, where do I think the stock price will be next year? Where's my base case scenario of where SoFi stock price will end up next year? Well, I think the forward price to earnings ratio ends up somewhere between 50 and 45, somewhere in that range, maybe to 55, a forward PE of around 45 to 55, and a stock price that could be in the range of $20 per share to $23 per share. That's where I think is my base case scenario of where I think the stock price ends up. Now, remember, this is a very volatile stock. That means that the range of outcomes is much wider than usual. The stock price could go all the way to $50 per share next year, and it can go all the way as low as $5 next year. That's how volatile this business is and how volatile the stock is. And this is not like investing in Coca-Cola stock where the range of outcomes is much narrower. This is a high risk, high return type of investment. Okay. So also that being said, take this prediction with a grain of salt, right? As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, nobody knows what's going to happen in the future. As you noticed, I used a lot of estimates and assumptions to make this prediction. Use it for entertainment purposes only and conduct your own due diligence before making a decision about SoFi stock. Interestingly, though, this SoFi stock 2025 price target matches with another price target I made using a different valuation model. When I did the SoFi stock discounted cash flow model video, uh, early October, this was as of October 7th when I made this video, I had SoFi stocks uh, value at $21 per share, right? This was $21.38 intrinsic value per share is the calculation I arrived at when doing a discounted cash flow analysis of SoFi stock. And now doing this methodology for coming up with the valuation, which takes the earnings per share forecast and applies a forward PE multiple to that forecast, I get a similar price target here of $21.50 at the midpoint. So both valuation methods I used to value SoFi stock has me at a valuation of around $21, $21.50 per share, which if you look at the current share price of $16, it has a little more upside to go here, about 33% more upside for SoFi stock. Now, if you want access to these spreadsheets where I have all these valuations conducted for you, it you can get access to them through a membership to my channel at the investor tier. Okay, so if you want access to all of that, you can get it through a channel membership with the investor tier. Hey everyone, I'm excited to announce that my book is finally available for sale. I've been working on it for more than a year now, so I'm really excited to finally share this with you now. It goes through my framework for evaluating stocks. Some of you often ask why I like this stock or why I like the other stock, and this framework provides you the things that I look at when I'm evaluating stocks. I've added the link in the description below.